it's simply more to the third A type uh, where there's a dislocation with the presence of femoral head. And as my last talk, I'll just briefly go through how this happens. So uh, this is a normal hip and as uh, uh, Mandar has mentioned, the generally septic, it starts with a petho, with a osteomyelitis and femoral neck, which generally extends into the joint and then joint becomes infected and there is a pus accumulation. With that pus accumulation, there may be tamponade, there may be avascular necrosis. If that is not treated, the capsules bulge and then gradually uh, there is a subluxation of the femoral head and if there is the things are arrested, uh, at this point of time, if the infection is arrested, you get a type 3B hip. But if the infection persists, there is a gradual destruction of the capsule and hip then um, the, the capsule gives away, the pus uh, moves around, it goes in uh, around the obturator foramen, it turns around the greater sciatic notch and comes into pelvic cavity and then hip starts one and generally presents to us with a deformed a capital femoral epiphysis and dislocated head, but some part of head remains and that makes it jory type 3A. And this is how generally the patient presents. If you look at um, this case in which the girl uh, of two and a half year was brought to me with abnormal gait, she had an, a history of NICU admission, she was kept on ventilator and had a painful nappy chain which was ignored after multiple complaints as well. Here you can see that both the hips are uh, abnormal and right side the capital femoral epiphysis is not uh, present and we don't know what is happening there. Dr. Jauri in his recent publication also found that on, so on radiography majority of the capital femoral epiphysis was not absent and what they found that in many of such cases even MRI was not possible or was, was not available. So they resorted to orthography, so did I. So this orthogram was done in 2005. You can see bilateral capital femoral epiphysis is present. You can see uh, with external rotation, you can see there is a dislocation of the right and left side, there is a coxa magna. And if you look at in a uh, internal rotation abduction view, right hip is dislocated and left hip has a coxa magna. This child was managed uh, with open reduction, femoral shortening, without estabular procedures, as I thought the estabulum was developing, uh, was fairly covering the femoral head. And this is a one year follow up where you can see there's a coxa vera, articular trochanteric distance is abnormal. So at this point of time, I added trochanteric epiphysial disease, which is also well mentioned in Dr. Jari's article. This is a four year follow up at two, in 2007. And this is a six year follow up. You can see now the CFE has appeared. Uh, and trochanter has been arrested, but the capital femoral epiphysis is uh, still uh, at a lower level. And this girl might uh, need future procedures like relative neck lengthening or trochanteric advancement uh, on both the sides. Uh, looking at this uh, girl who was born again with a full term cesarean section and ICU admission for 12 days, uh, noticed decreased lower limb movements after discharge, went back to hospital had uh, some blood infection diagnosed and was treated with IV antibiotics and presented to me at age of one and a half years when she started walking with bilateral limb. The culprit was uh, bilateral jory type 3A hips. Uh, now that uh, we are in, 2000, uh, in 2010, there was easy availability of MRI and as Dr. Jory suggested in his paper, we did an MRI and found that there was bilateral good capital femoral epiphysis and now the further uh, treatment basically remains of how we treat DDH. So she had uh, open reduction. We found there was a significantly deformed femoral head. There is a depression in the central part of the femoral head. The, the femoral head was slightly larger than it looked. And uh, this side was uh, uh, operated with the femoral shortening. I didn't do uh, pelvic procedure because that was not required. Uh, this is a, a further follow-up. You can see the CFE is now enlarging. Six months later, she came for the second site. She had a reasonably good movements on the operated side. She was walking with a limb um, at the time of presentation before second surgery. Again, similarly, the right side, the capital femoral epiphysis was abnormal and flattened. Uh, she had a okay, similar surgery, open reduction, significant shortening uh, without virus, but anti rotation. Six months later, again, capital femoral epiphysis appeared on uh, this site and uh, estabulum started developing well. Uh, she had removal of implant about a year later uh, and at that point of time trochanter had not appeared so I could not do uh, trochanteric epiphysiodesis. 
Three years later, when she came, she had a good, excellent range of movements. But when I took the X-ray, I found that there was a reduced articular trochanteric distance and suggested uh, trochanteric fusion. Uh, during the same time, mother was pregnant with second uh, child, and so she came back after one year. So at this point of time, there was uh, articular trochanteric issues. So she had a bilateral trochanteric fusion in 2020. Uh, drilling and scooping of the trochanteric physis was done. And a year later, this is the picture. And this is after 18 months, there is a uh, trochanteric fusion, but uh, uh, femoral epiphysis is not developing. Though her gait is absolutely normal at this point of time, she may need some procedures in, in future. This is her function. And this is the algorithm which Dr. Jory has proposed in his article that uh, basically you, what you need to do is if you find that capital femoral epiphysis is there, you need to treat these cases more like uh, DDH. But the only caveat is that they will require significant additional procedure. These are the, all the procedures which you may need and has been mentioned in Dr. Jory's article, which is trochanteric advancement or fusion, which I have done femoral lengthening. Uh, hip releases and uh, hip may resubluxate it and that may require shelf VDR or combination of both and probably Atul will deal with that uh, things in so far. Thank you very much for patience.